Hey guys, I'm Lini. This is Kelly of Creations, a place where I come and share all my random bits, bob stuff, crafty life. As usual, I'm coming to you from Cornwall, which is down in the southwest of the UK, where I live with my partner and my three tiny humans. All of which are hopefully in bed going to sleep. So, I've not filmed a proper video in over a month. The last time I filmed a proper video was before I had surgery on my foot, which is fine. Like, it's doing well. Thank you to everyone that's asked about that. I have a very charming air boot that I walk around in, but it's all good. So I am going to show you what I've been doing for the last month. I'm, well, over a month now because it is the 1st of August, which is also my birthday month. So... I am going to show you what I have completed. I am not going to show you anything that I've worked on. I've probably worked on stuff and ripped it out, which doesn't, you know, overly help. So I've got a big pile of stuff next to me. Let's go. Um, also, none of this probably has patterns because of who I am as a person. But there we go. So we have got a bunch of chaos going on here. Um, so scarf I made it on my I can't think how you do these things now and you can't see sorry right. is that any better? yeah so I made this on my generic knitting machine it's really long because I actually really like long scarves um it's quite thin. It was a random ball of yarn that I've been given. And I just didn't know what to do with. So I just put it through the knit machine. And like, it does like a triple loop. Yeah, one, two, three. And oh, has dangly lids still. So there's that one. I might add some tassels or pom-poms or something like to the ends. Not sure, not convinced. If you hear rustling, I'm throwing it I'm throwing the stuff that I finished onto the bag that it came out of. Uh, next, right. A bit of fluff just attacked me. So we have a unicorn hat. The um, yarn is actually like that glittery stuff. Oh yeah, you can see a bit of the sparkles. Um, which is from Poundland, which is great. This I've actually made for my friend's daughter. So, it needs to go to her at some point. Woohoo, tassels! But there's that one. Next we have a bunch of snowflakes. So we have got... This is made from that same like sparkly yarn. We've got one, two, three, four, six. We have got six snowflakes. There we go. They're all the same. Just out the sparkly on from Poundland. Um, I don't know if they are going to be... That one's only got five. Most of them have six. This one has five. I don't know if they're going to be Christmas tree decorations. Or whether I string them together as a garland. Or what I do. Apparently I have fancied making some snowflakes. Look at those. Then we have, this has to be my favourite pattern of all time, Timothy the T-Rex. This yarn is from Poundland. I'm sure it's called Rose Garden. They are, so it's 100% acrylic. Look how beautiful these colours are though. It's like a rainbow dinosaur. So these are 50 gram balls. They're a pound each. But you get three for the price of two. But that's less than a ball. That's easier, quite a bit less than a ball. But how beautiful is that? Also using the same yarn, obviously not the same ball, because we have a pyramid. Oh, it has got two arms. Some arms come behind it. So I've just... 
this is a bit of me just playing around seeing if I can make patterns and then I remembered that I'm dyslexic and I really shouldn't try and do these things um I don't mean that quite the way it sounds I was trying to write the pattern down as I was going it wasn't going well but yeah so that's my little version of a permade I think I should have made the head bigger but for first attempt I'm fine with this and I have plenty of tiny humans that will steal it. Again, using the same colourway. I bought like six balls of this colourway. Because it is rather beautiful. And I've just noticed I have ends to weave in. So I made a baby size blanket. And right, this is just how the colours pulled. But there is definitely, it almost looks like a square <laughs> that's a different colour inside it. Can you see it? Like. Oh, the light doesn't like it. Like, across here, and like down, looks a completely different colour to the rest of it. And it is just how the yarn's pulled. Because it's all the same yarn, it's all the same colour batch. I've just noticed I've got ends that need sewing in on it, so I won't put that away. I will sew in the ends before it gets put away. Then we have... A oh, fuzzies, the kids been in this bag because it's full of fuzzies. A hat made on my knit machine. I do. I just adore these hats. I think they're adorable. Um, I am going to make a, a batch of pom poms, and I'm going to put threads on the pom poms. I'm thinking about doing craft sales in. When it gets colder, because it's with Sammy trying to sell stuff now. And, like, I'm going to do the hat. And then, like, a choose-your-own-pom-pom -pom thing for, like, I don't know, like, extra quid or something for a pom-pom. Because not everyone wants pom-poms. I don't know why you wouldn't want a pom-pom. But, also, it gives more scope for people just to have fun. There's a tiny human at my door. <laughs> right. A another knit hat. Oh, what are you doing? I've got my dressing on. Okay, go to bed, please. No, no, no. You can do it. Here's the armhole. That is the armhole. Can you put your arms in? That's not quite right. Mm -hmm. What's right? This is right? That's right, that's it. Oh. No, in the armhole. So he's trying to put on a dressing gown. That's it. Is that better? That's it. Any other one? There it is. There it is. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's just noticed that I'm filming. How could you just do that? This I didn't know you could do that. Right. How do we have to do that? How do we, we just do this? Put through. Come on, come here. Right, night, night. Right, say night, night, YouTube. My night, YouTube. Right, go on. Why we? Did it say night, YouTube? Yeah, night, night, YouTube. Can I have this dinosaur? Yes, good night. Take the dinosaur and leave. Come He's on, just run off with the rainbow dinosaur. Right, go on. Yeah. Good night. Yes, Hello. Right, go on, bed. Oh. It's nine o'clock. Like, he should have been asleep two hours ago. He's pushing his luck. Right, so next we have a rosy wrap in black. And I can still hear him yapping, which means that the others are awake still as well. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's telling his brother above him that he gets to look after the rainbow dinosaur. Next we have this one. This is... That's the big one walking past. Probably tell the little one to go to sleep. 
This yarn is from Lully's. It's an Aran Roll. I really like it. It's really cool how it's like pulled in stripes. But this is how it knits up on the knitting machine. And this is how it crochets into a rosy wrap. How cool is that? Like, there's a definite soil going on with the rosy wrap. And strikes with that one. There's two. We have another rosy wrap. Pretty sure this was an iron roll as well. I'm trying to use up yarn. But this colour's really pretty. I'm pretty sure that came from Lolly's in like a mystery box or something. And then oh, I'm not gonna do those yet. Out of stock. Right. <laughs> we have this isn't showing the right colour. It's like a dusty rose pink. Again on the knitting machine. I do like these. So squishy. So, oh, when I make these, I make like a really long tube. And then, so the two end, yeah, then like it's cinched ends. And then I sew the two ends together. So it's like a double layer hat. And then just fold up for the brim. Then we have a itty bitty octopus type thing. I'm not quite sure. Yep, no, it is an octopus. Um, so I think this is one of the flapjack octopuses that I've made before. We then have this shawl, but it's going to be like a less of a shawl because this isn't shawl size to me this um triangular scarf this was a yarn cake from lollies i got in the cake mystery box last year i think last year for my birthday it's taken me a long time to use this because it's so pretty and it's too pretty to use so we get sat in a box and I know that's silly. Then we have... Oh, nope, I've said about you. Oh, then we have this one. I literally finished this about an hour ago. This is huge. So... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I am five foot seven. And it is nearly two of my wingspan. Like it's not quite two. Yeah, so it's my wingspan plus like two foot. So. But I love it. It's just a plain triangle granny. I've been feeling colder today. Um, and this one, I would actually wear like a traditional shawl. So like over the shoulders. Whereas the other ones that I've made would definitely be wore as a triangle scarf. Also, this is DK weight, and I used an 8mm hook. And it's, I think it's four. This is the label for it. Um, so these, it's wool lux from ice. So it's 70% acrylic, 30% wool. And they're 50 gram balls. And I think I've used about four balls in this. Which I think is what I had left. So the next things I want to show you is Hello. what I have made from what's in five. Bedtime. No. It's bedtime now. You need to sleep. No, I'm in bed with my friends. Five. Well, good night. They are pushing their luck today. Um, is what I have been making out of what Lucy gave me. So, oh, it's all tangled. No. Oh, 
my life is chaos. So this, right, it looks tiny, but it actually stretches really, really far. Is the like t-shirt yarn, the cotton t-shirt yarn. So I made like an itty bitty shopper basket, but actually like it's big enough for a watermelon. It seems to be like my shopping test. Can I fit a watermelon in it? Um, and then it's just like a one strap drawstring. So it just pulls tight at the top. That one. Then I crocheted a cowl. I want to get like a jumbo button or something to go there. That one, that was with the chunky the mammoth chunky and then i'm sorry if you can hear rustling i've been doing a lot of drawing recently which means i have a lot of paper lying around everywhere because i am a messy person in general i know that i made something else and I can't find it. Do you know what? I'll show you next time. Um, these are what I've been drawing. Gnomes. I have a slight obsession at the moment with gnomes. So I've just been doodling gnomes on everything. So if it stays still for long enough, it ends up with a gnome on it. Um... Yes, so it is my birthday month. My birthday is the 17th of August. I did have to think when my birthday was then. So I, in theory, I want to do Vlogust again. In practice, I don't know how well it's going to go. But we are going to try because I need to get back to filming. I miss talking to you guys. Um... So that is it for me. I'm going to go and sort out my children because it's past nine o'clock and they really should be asleep. I love you all and I will speak to you all tomorrow. Bye guys. No, turn off.